Oh, all right. Well, no time but the present. So glad you guys are all on here live with us. For those of you who I have not met, it's just been so fun as there are some early birds on this call, which gosh, I don't blame you for who we get to hear from tonight, but it's been fun seeing who's in what city, making some connections on the call. I know this team is blowing up in all different parts of the country and actually more on the East Coast right now, which is so exciting. So it's like, okay, you need to know who, uh, which is just awesome. But um, like I said, for those of you who don't know me personally just yet, um, Katie Bristow, Ben Bristow is on here labeled iPhone. I was like, who's in Idaho on the iPhone? <laughs> we should know each other. <laughs> Um, but no, we live out here in Boise. We've been here with Q Sciences coming up on our four-year mark. Uh, as we enter the new year come February, it's crazy. And, you know, we just feel so, so, so grateful for not just obviously this opportunity, this product line, but more importantly, the people we've been able to meet here, the people we've been able to link arms with. Because uh, I can truly say if it wasn't for them, we would have never been able to build a business that we have. We, we would have never been able to impact more and more people now spreading across the world. And it truly, to me, is a reflection of what's possible here as we really go into 2023, which I believe is going to be a legendary year uh, here at Q Sciences. And so tonight... I'm sure you're all like, I know exactly who I'm here to, to hear from and, and really have on this call because it's very special, very exclusive. The fact that he's taking time, not only around the holidays, folks, but um, next week, Japan opens. And I know he'll be jet setting across the ocean to open up that market with a few other advisory council members, um, which we're just so excited for. But he's made time for us and to be able to lean in and learn from. Um, I can truly say that Jake Spencer, being our owner and president, you know, he's someone we really respect as a mentor who's built in the field and done what we've done. Um, but someone who's really been able to scoop up Ben and I under his wing. And I'm sure there's actually many of you guys on the call who could raise your hand and say the same, like of the owner and the president of the company. That's wild. Um, we're just so grateful for what Jake has has meant to us in the last four years. And again, just taking time, personal time, family time away to, to speak to us. Um, and so, Mr. Jake Spencer, I know you're there. You're just going to have to unmute. Thank you for hopping on. And thank you for making time for us. And I'm excited. I got my pen and paper and I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. Good deal. Can you hear me good? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, first off, thank you all for joining us. And those of you in the United States, uh, I probably won't talk to you guys for a little bit because I got some travel coming up, but happy Thanksgiving, safe travels. Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing time of year. And uh, second thing before we go on, because it matters uh, to Sarah and I and Mark as owners, again, congratulations to the Bristow family. Um, they uh, have stuck with it. They've worked extremely hard and they've applied a lot of work ethic and tenacity uh, and patience, uh, patience to learning this business. And all of that uh, came obviously too while uh, Katie had her first child. And um, it was kind of funny, you know, hearing her say, oh, that's my husband. I got get to know you. Well, you, you seem like you know him well, you're pregnant again. So um, congratulations on that. You guys seem like you figured that out. Um, Congratulations, Ben. I'm glad you can sink some putts. So um, I'm excited to obviously be here and sorry if that humor is not for you, um, but it is for me. <laughs> and he who has the gold makes the rules. So anyway, uh, I'm excited that you guys are all here. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, but uh, I'm excited because of all the things we've accomplished. I want to say thank you for your loyalty. Uh, thank you for making Q Friday an incredible opportunity for everybody. And looking at the numbers across the board, uh, it was an easy decision to, to maybe not go as big, uh, but maybe repeat it on, on, on December 16th. So you might want to remember that date. Um, as we do a global uh, preview of a product that's meant a lot to my wife, uh, my product's not that cool. It's just a pain bomb that I kind of made on my own, but hers is really cool because I guess it like addresses 
tons of stuff that uh, all of us have with adrenal fatigue and libido and weight loss and all the crazy stuff that happens to us. So I'm excited and I'm excited you guys get to get to be a part of it. I'm excited you guys get to be a part of Q at this point in time. You know, I was just with the Bristows and uh, I was pulling their organs, organization. It's, it's fun to see familiar faces, Lolo, uh, Jill and Allie and Stacy. It's good to see you guys. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously been, it's been a bit. And um, I've heard some upcoming, name, upcoming names, you guys with Sarah and Karen, those guys who are coming up to the ranks. And I want to say congratulations for that. And then who can go a day without talking about Janelle? She's in the chat, blowing it up. I see you, Janelle, I see you. Um, but uh, you are noticed and you are special. So it was fun seeing you in Canada. You know, um, the topic that I was asked to talk on a little bit um, is 2023. Um, I'm actually putting together like the final steps uh, and finishing touch on the challenge. Uh, and the official name of that challenge is the Inner Circle Challenge. Um, I'll be having some film crews and stuff. Uh, Ethan will be helping me film some stuff in Japan uh, on my daily routines, uh, because really my Japan is your Japan, this is a separate thing, right? Balancing it out, traveling, finding time to find areas in your life to still do the things that are on the list that have to be done, regardless of what a cue is, uh, personal time, uh, mental health, all those things. And so I think it'll give you kind of a snippet of uh, maybe the, the routine uh, that I kind of live, live by. And I'm excited because I get to be finally a part of a challenge um, and guiding it through as we get closer to the, to the Discover event. And I'm excited because I'm going to approach it a little bit differently than when some of you guys um, may think. And, I, and there's a reason why I'm starting with this first. I'm going to approach it from a different angle. Um, you're going to do a workout, the same workout, at least once a week. Uh, and you get to measure yourself. And all the other subsequent workouts throughout the week are going to help with that main benchmark workout every single week. So as you measure your ability, and it's going to be different for each and every one of us, it's not there to compare to anyone in here or in the company, because we're I'm going to expect probably four to 5,000 people are going to be involved with me. Um, but it's there to measure. One thing I notice with a lot of successful people is we tend to uh, measure uh, success because the more successful you become, uh, success is quite small. It's incremental. And so if you're not taking measurements on things, you don't really know where you stand. And as I teach my kids uh, with some lessons and Sarah and I talk about it, numbers don't lie. And sometimes when you look at something, you think you're doing it, you pretend you're doing it. You're moving the paper clips around on your desk, but when you take the measurement of the activity in a couple of weeks and you're still where you are, you have to look at yourself in the mirror. As you do these workouts, you're also gonna learn a little bit about fitness in terms of food, learning what each week will become tougher and tougher. One week I may ask you to give up Diet Coke or coffee or some sugary things. Um, and as you go, it's gonna be tougher. Each week, you're going to be hearing from the FFM team. My wife will be one of those times. And we're going to program into the Mike Fit app. So we'll know in your cardio session, because cardio will be additional requirement during your workouts, that you, if you listen to it. And so you'll be getting your cardio in as the same time you're learning about FFM, because successful people don't silo anything in their life. I've noticed that I've gone through activities in my life where three, sometimes four of the five Fs are touched in that 20 minute set segment, right? You're gonna be talking about your faith, all things faith. You're not gonna be hearing me preach or tell you what church to go and join or what to do, but we're gonna talk about a higher power from all realms. But what I noticed with most of you, I think it's one of the uh, unfortunate plagues right now in Psyche Sciences of all things great, we do have some problems. And one of those problems we have is the lack of faith or belief that you guys have in you the faith aspect to look at that treat, that snack, and know that it's day four, day five, and your body's saying, take it, eat it. He's not gonna know, I promise you, he's not gonna know. This one, even do half of it, trust me, I'm gonna know. I promise you, I will know. <laughs> Having the faith that you can get through this, uh, through this season, maybe faith to, as the FFM gets tougher and tougher each week, as you're really getting tougher about needs versus wants, learning how to put money aside for future business, 
the faith that you'll be okay. And you don't need that Starbucks seven days a week that you'll still live. And the symbolism of that Starbucks cup doesn't really make you cool. It's going to be an amazing time. You're going to learn how to recruit and you're going to be given access to um, additional income from me. And so as I track you and your journal in this journey with, with me, each week, depending on what you are, I'm going to be giving you an extra bonus, monetary, monetary for recruiting. I'm going to give you an extra bonus and start splitting up convention tickets. So as you get people to convention, I'm going to share the profit. So you'll get a direct impact to your bottom line after hearing the training that happened that week. You're going to be seeing the day in the life of, of some of our leaders on how they balance their children and grandchildren or their spouses out and the business and how they make it all work. The reason why I want to do this was to prepare for something that I felt and saw coming in the middle of the pandemic. I had just had feelings that there was going to be a correction coming. And I'm not just talking about the financial corrections. You guys just saw the Amazon laid off another 10,000 people today. I'm not just talking about that correction. It's affecting your bottom line, your groceries, your house values, your 401ks. I'm talking about the correction that was coming from the devastation and the, the, the word new normal that the pandemic dealt us. That correction is alive and well. And wouldn't you have guessed that people who developed people skills and still are are excelling big time in business. Retail boutique shopping is up. Already this year for holiday season, online shopping's down. People once again are now shopping with people that they like, that they know, that they trust. Because there's reasons behind why those people have those, little bit, have those businesses. And the reasons why have become so compelling, please listen to this, to people all over the world. Because if they can shop and help a family member out or a family or a friend in their community, they're going to get with that person instead of put money in Jeff Bezos pocket. It's interesting that Disney's even making major cha changes. If you've not paid attention to that, they're now regretting all the park increases and all their prices and now have proven that the average shopper on a three day spend at Disney has now dropped to a quarter of what it was. And now Mr. CEO has gone and they're bringing out the new CEO or the old one. There's a correction coming. There's a correction coming from how we treated people, how we wouldn't listen. And we made people decide what fence to stand on, on issues that they didn't need to stand on the side of the fence. See, I believe we can all believe different things and still get along. I believe we can all love different things and even different genders and still get along. We can have our beliefs and be okay with our beliefs. If you have faith in the end of what's going to happen, why make such a big deal and treat others like crap? That correction is here. And so I need you at your best mentally, physically, emotionally, even spiritually and financially. See, what we decided to do, and I need you to listen to this, already for the first six months of 2023, I want you to know that in, in America, the USA, and even Canada, other than maybe bliss or some terpene things, we do not have any new health and wellness product on the schedule. We don't. Do we have enhancements to products like you just saw with sprays? Absolutely. But instead, what we have is a vertical that in North America alone, our human race spends over a trillion dollars every 30 days, just in North America. And in that vertical, it's going to encompass so many things, things inside your home. To the capacity by the end of 2023 on our schedule and radar, if things go well, we'll actually be close to 70 new products deep in this vertical. And we're talking crazy stuff. In fact, we're bringing home a major device, over 500 of those devices home from Japan on December 1st for our equity council, excuse me, for our advisory council and close relatives and friends to try in their homes. 
Because there's one thing that we all have in common and we put it in our body every single day. I think 70, 80, 90% of us are made up of it. Unless you're my high school friend who was blonde and she was made up of air. But I think you get what this point, point is. We have a lot of things coming and we're super excited for that. You're gonna walk into our convention and discover and you're gonna notice something that sticks out like a sore thumb in our success store. That's now taking up the space of all of the sporting court that you saw. Must be something big. Something that we all come home to each and every day. You're about to see what Q home actually really means. I'm excited for you, but I need you at your best. And it's gonna be an incredible, incredible year. Now, how do you make this happen? First off, don't recruit people to Q. Don't recruit people to our products. You need to recruit people to each other because I don't really believe that people do business with companies. I believe they do business and make commitments and covenants to people. That's what I truly believe. And I think that's why I've been fortunate in my a little bit of success I've been fortunate to experience in business. I believe whether you are a believer of prayer or not, most, if not all, that I've experienced have been answered by who? Fellow humans. A conversation after asking for help. A random encounter with an old friend or relative at a shopping plaza or a grocery store. A text message, an email at the exact right time with a troubled mind. See, it's usually people. But first off, you have to believe that you are an answer. So I want to ask you a question. Do you believe that you are? I actually believe that you are, I think, some or more than you believe that you are. So how do you recruit people to people? You talk about them in a way where you have a connection in the way that you talk. Some people would say, I have a partner who's expanding a huge opportunity around the world, leading the expansion of major technology in the health and wellness space. Let's see if there's a, a mutual connection between the two of us. I'll pull some strings and see if we can get on a phone call together before you even take a look at what I'm doing. Each and every one of you are unique. What I'm telling you is, is if you can lead with the product and or the opportunity that first must be led through the person they need to meet. If you're excited about terpenes and bliss or whatever is happening in your market, it must be led through the person who has all the answers of the opportunity. If you're really excited about the extra income, the Christmas cash, and all things that are happening, it must be led through the person who you're promoting, not me, not Mark, nor the company. I want to challenge you. Here's the challenge. Katie and Ben are on our advisory council, so they'll be tracking all the people who are on this call. You ready? This is how this works. I'm going to challenge you. I want to challenge you starting tomorrow to move every day for the rest of the month. How many days is that? Not very, not very many, you can do it. And those of you who say you don't have time, you're talking to the wrong guy. Don't even say that to me. I will be offended and I will not be nice to you ever again. Just joking, I am required to by law, RP and P's. But I won't ask you to come to my house and eat my food. I need you to move. Now, if you're moving, is this going to the, to the mailbox? Go out there four times. If, if it's cold where you are and it's ridiculous or it's snowing on the East Coast, go up and down your stairs four or five times. You want to add something to it? Find something that motivates you, something that you can listen to, something that puts your, your frame of mind where your endorphins and your feel-good things start happening all over, your, all over your body. And remember what those feelings are like when you're in movement. I didn't tell you you need to go run eight or nine miles. I didn't tell you you needed to go do a CrossFit workout. That's not what I said. I said you need to move. After your Thanksgiving dinner, if you're in, in the United States, get up and walk around the block. Better yet, take a child or your spouse and actually hold their hand and see what happens. See, this is crazy because we have family. Like You can encompass a lot of the Fs when you actually listen to what I'm saying to you. Commit to me to move once a day. The next goal, do not let this month go without at least getting one more partner. Make it a goal. And number three, do not let this month go, month go without getting one more customer. Three simple things. 
three simple things. Now, here's what I want you to do. Once you're done, because Ben needs something to do, you're going to email your ambassador number and your name to Ben, or you're going to message it to him. Ben is then going to compile a list to me and have it to me by December 2nd. And all of you that do this, I'll double check to make sure you've got the customer and the ambassador. I'll take your word for it that you're moving every single, every single day. And then you'll get a little gift from me in the mail or potentially on your pay on, on that second on, on Friday. Pretty simple game. The ball's in your, your court. It's really simple. Now we'll all have to count on Ben, but our country count on Ben for a long time. So I think I can count on him. The point that I'm telling you is you must participate in your own rest, own rest, own rescue. I can only throw a life raft so, so far. You know, someone said that success in today's world is all about understanding that it's actually a mutual role. This business is crazy. I can sit there and give you all that you, all that you need, promos, new products, the highest payout ever. I mean, think about this. We're, we're essentially doing stuff on December 9th and December 16th again. And the 16th is going to almost be like a mini Q Friday all over again. That's great. But you know what that, what that really is? That's just me passing me the ball. You still have to shoot it. <laughs> you still have to put it in the hoop. And what happens when you keep passing the ball to people who sometimes drop it or drop it a lot or who aren't ready for the ball or who keep preparing to prepare to prepare to prepare to prepare to prepare and waiting for all these perfect things? They lose out. I'm telling you that when the January convention hits and that date happens on Friday, and then it happens all over again the same day in February for the Asia marketplaces. I bet you this type of Zoom by June, July will actually not be possible for us to do it, do, especially as an owner. I would even predict by the, by the June time frame, you ready for this one? Because my friend Janelle's on here. I bet you by the June time frame, and it will be announced at convention that there will be a grand opening and another Discover event for the country of Canada in June. Yeah, I heard that one. Don't know if it's true, but I think I know the owner. We have huge plans and I invite you to be a part of them. And last but not least, it's, a, it's an incredible time of year. And unfortunately we don't feel this way throughout all the year. But this time actually puts a lot of things into like perspective. One thing that I learned from Mark is he makes a goal and he sticks to his goal and he sticks to his plan. So I had, I had to know. I said, bro, I get you traveled all over. But the owner's tour, you guys want to know something crazy? Between the owner's tour and conventions, the elite academies in those countries, the tours in Canada, Australia, and Silver Summits. Talk about being grateful for Jackie. Q Sciences Corporate put on over 54 events around the world this year when other companies haven't done anything and they've still blamed the pandemic. Discover the difference in Q, right? <laughs> um, I told Mark, I'm like, tell me, how, how, how are you doing on your goal of kissing your wife before you leave every day? He said, well, other than the days I've traveled, I've only missed two days all year. Is that not remarkable? I read something today in my time in cardio and closing. I read a recent study of 40,000 couples 40,000 couples that was done about the number one thing these researchers found to why couples last. Isn't that, I mean, to me, that's interesting. Not 100, 200, but like 40,000 couples. And I was like waiting for this profound thing. Here's what they said. 
Couples that last, and think about this from business too, they tend to lean in. I thought, what does that mean? So I kept reading and they gave me examples of like, oh, this is a really interesting article. And the opposite party, the other couple could say, cool, well, well tell me about it. Or they could just ignore it and roll their eyes because their person's on their phone, or they could completely walk away. They gave a lot of examples about leaning in to the other party. I think some of us need to lean in to some people in our home for the rest of the year and really stop making so much of this fuss about us. Could you imagine if you leaned in and people were like, I don't know what you're learning in Q, but I like that you're doing it. When's the last time someone told you they liked who you're becoming because of Q, not what you're making? I think that's why my wife trusts me with my friend Ben. Like I can talk about Ben. Brandon, all these people on here and their husbands, like my wife likes when I'm around them. I don't come home with all these crazy habits and these stupid ideas and demanding things. I come home leaning in. Thank you for joining me tonight. I won't see you guys for a while. I'll see you probably on December 2nd on the CEO call. Have a great holiday season for those guys in America, those guys around the world. Just make it a holiday every day. Katie, it's yours. Thank you, Jake. Gosh, you're like getting emotional over here now. It's my turn. But before you log off, Jake, I want to personally just thank you for what you've done for the company for Q Friday. Um, I mean, you guys just blow up the chat box and just give gratitude to lowering prices. I mean, those convention ticket prices, um, free enrollments. Uh, new products. I mean, the list goes on free shipping. Like, do you understand that comes at a cost to a business and a business owner? And I, I, I mean, I'm just like running reports because things are just going bananas. And it's like many of you guys are having your best months because this guy set you up for success. And I just don't know another owner who's so forward thinking and generous to 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 set you up for win in many ways. And so there's so much more in the pipeline between that challenge that's on the heels. So keep your eyes peeled for all of that. I hope you wrote down those dates of December 9th and September 16th, because as we plan our momentum as a team and a business owner, those are going to be pivotal days going into next month. Um, but everything, guys, that was just said, if there's one thing that I could even just reiterate, I know it was spoken about many things that are coming, you know, come January, come January. Be at Discover the Difference with us. I mean, what you felt on the Zoom is such a small percentage of really what we're going to feel together in a room, breaking bread, having meals, you know, making memories, learning and leaning in as one team and one community. Um, I just can't wait because I know many of you guys already claimed your stake and already have your ticket in hand. And if you're on the fence, it's still discounted. <laughs> it's not going to be cheaper than this. So snag that ticket. Uh, if you want to be a real gangster like Janelle, the Canadian that was mentioned multiple times, get a VIP. <laughs> Ask anyone who's ever gotten a VIP what it's done to themselves, their skill set, their business. You know, words right there. It is worth it. Um, Bridget Chofel, myself, we've always invested in that. It's going to really roll out the red carpet and put your business in a convection oven to have the experiences and the conversations with the leaders. And I'll kind of just wrap up with this um, because, you know, I think back to the first convention that Ben and I attended it was in Orlando, Florida. And if you guys know where Idaho is, it's nowhere close to Orlando, Florida. And I remember Ben, many of you guys don't know Ben as well as some, um, but he wasn't all in on this business, guys. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't like guns blazing, let's go blow, blow up Q. He was like, oh, that's kind of like your thing. Um, but I can truly say I would never, I, I would probably not be in Q Sciences today. I definitely would not be, sit, be sitting on the advisory council going into 2023 if we didn't go. 
And if we didn't show up, and thankfully we showed up with a couple people on our team, our best friends, we scooped them along. Uh, and I, you know, I just, I'll never forget sitting at silver dinner and meeting Bridget Schofel for the first time and the connection and conversations that we had where I was like, okay, I think I can hang with these people. And it was an instant, you know, it just, it changed everything. It went from this online business to a real business with people I can trust. Um, I think about even the things that we learned and we got to bring home and apply, you know, that took our business to the next level. I, I think Toki and Caitlin are on here. You know, we had a conversation today that every convention that they've attended, they've ranked up. So we mapped out a goal today of how to get them to the next level because of the next event that's on the horizon. So skill set wise, but I'll never forget. And I actually get a little oh, emotional thinking about this, but I'll never forget like sitting at the back of the room you know, like got my binoculars out, really just watching the front row of Q Sciences and just being like, those are the people I want to aspire to be like and to aspire to be around. And what Jake said at the end, I was getting emotional because of the quality and the caliber of people we get to link arms with here is just incredible because that intrinsic value of who Q Sciences is, like you can't help but walk out of an event and feel better about who you are, your marriage, your fitness, your finances, all the things that have way more value than just doing Q. And so I hope we can link arms and have that experience. And now to be sitting, you know, in the front row, not to brag, but to show you guys what's possible because we didn't come to Q Sciences with a team. We didn't come to Q Sciences with you know, all this industry experience under our belt, we just came with a belief and a vision of what was possible because of who paved the way before us. And we just built on small wins. And I know if you were on our UK huddle today, I talked about this. The small wins are exactly what Jake talked about, moving every day, feeling good, moving your body, closing the month with a win of a new customer, closing the month with a win of a new ambassador. And I'm telling you, those small building blocks are how you build momentum going into December, how you build momentum going into January, where all the craziness, 70 new Q Home products will be dropped. Like I am floored. So I love you guys. I feel so grateful to do business with each of you. Thank you for sharing a little bit of your Tuesday night with us. Um, let's use all the feelings that we're feeling right now. Like this would be a great time to go send a voice message <laughs> and make an invitation and get a video out because I know if, if I'm feeling elevated and my just emotions coming off of this call, this is the best time for us to go take action because of how we're, because of how we're feeling. So have a great night. We'll get the recording up for anyone who didn't make it on. Um, but let's blow up Ben's Facebook messenger with all of um, all of those three so we can send that list on December 2nd. I'll make sure to put on the team page so you guys know about it. Teams who weren't on here, we'll, we'll give them the same challenge and we'll see what the little present in your pay. <laughs> like what the freak, <laughs> what that's all about. So thank you guys. Have a great night and we'll see you soon. We'll see you at Discover the Difference.